friends, this is Val. Welcome to my channel. I have a bonus video for you this week. My good friend Denise, her channel is D Rogers, but posted a really cool video where she did a shop with me at Walmart and she had a box that she was gonna pack with items that she purchased in one shopping trip to Walmart. And she had a budget and she was gonna try to stay within her budget and see what she could come up with. Her focus was to show new packers or new shoppers that you can pack on a budget to encourage people to pack a shoebox. I decided to try it now because there are quite a few items in my uh, clearance aisle at Walmart. Plus they still had a lot of Easter clearance at 50% off. And so I thought I'd give it a try. So I went yesterday and I shopped at Walmart and Denise's video was really cool because she actually recorded while she was shopping in the store. I didn't do that, but I'll show you what I came up with. And I stayed within my $20 budget, even including tax, I spent $19.88. I did cheat just a teensy weensy tiny bit because I forgot to buy a pencil sharpener. So I grabbed a just a small pencil sharpener and close pencil sharpener that I got at Dollar Tree in a multi-pack and packed it in this box. And I added a couple things that I made and a couple teeny tiny complimentary or travel size bars of soap that I got recently when I, uh, that were in my room when I went on a scrapbooking retreat. And so I'm using a regular OCC Go Box. And the first thing that I would like to put in, I have some kid dough in here that I'd like to pack that I got at Walmart. And usually when I pack Play-Doh or kid dough, I like to include a play mat so the child has something to play with the Play-Doh on that's, you know, clean and flat. And so I'm going to make a play mat. And uh, let's see, two or maybe even three years ago now, I uploaded a video showing how I make the play mats, and so I can link to that in the description, but I thought I would do it really quickly here with you today. Made this so that this little boy who receives this box will have something to play with his play-doh on or his kid doh and I will put a note on here just on a sticky tab explaining that this could be used for that purpose so that goes in the bottom of the box okay now to show you everything I purchased at Walmart I found these two things in Easter clearance. The Dinosaur Egg Hunt board book. And this was only, it was half off of a dollar, so it was 50 cents. It's, a, it's really cute. It has not too many pages, but it's very nice quality. And it has dinosaurs um, hunting for eggs, Easter eggs. And then I found these sticker face, spring sticker face uh, sticker books. So um, this is a frog one. So it has these images of frogs and other things. And then you can use the stickers that are included to make faces, just like at Dollar Tree, similar to Dollar Tree. But these, normally a dollar, were only 50 cents with uh, Easter 
clearance items. I've actually bought a bunch of these because I'm going to put them in pencil packs. I This was the cheapest way I thought I could include several pencils. I usually don't put in a whole pack of 10 pencils for the younger kids, but these were 50 cents on Easter clearance. So I thought I would go ahead and include the entire pack. Um, you know, since the entire 50 cents is included in, in my total for my budget challenge here. I'd like to sharpen them for this little boy. This is a pencil pouch that I also bought within my budget. This was 98 or 99 cents or something normal price at Walmart. It's just, they only had one color, black. Uh, but I like these because they have the clear window. So he's got his pencils and pencil sharpener. And then let's see, I bought scissors and these were $1.47 and I, I don't normally include two pairs of scissors but this was the cheapest I could find was this pack of two pen and gear. So I included this entire $1.47 price in my total for my $20 box, but I'm only gonna include one pair. So I also have, I believe I have erasers. Okay, so. Once again, I don't usually include two erasers, but these were, I think, 62 cents or something like that for two. So I'm just going to go ahead and include both erasers. I'm inside today because it's really cold here in Missouri. It's only in the 40s. Actually, it got down into the 30s overnight. Okay, so I've got pencils and pencil sh sharpener. And this is the pencil sharpener that I got out of a multi-pack from Dollar Tree because I forgot to buy a pencil sharpener at Walmart. But it doesn't really add much to the cost of this box at all. So he's got two erasers, pair of scissors. He's got his pencil sharpener, which is enclosed, and his pencils and his pencil pack. Okay, at Walmart, I looked for a cute shirt on clearance. There were none. So I just went ahead and bought regular price, this Wonder Nation t-shirt, just this plain t-shirt, which normal price was $3.98. So he's gonna get his nice t-shirt. They have these cups for 50 cents. These are mainstay 18 ounce tumblers. I like this because it's got little ridges, kind of easier to grip. And then inside his cup, this is a washcloth that I made. So once again, this is my little cheat, but this basically, you know, I, I already had the yarn. Actually, I already had this washcloth made. So that's gonna go inside the cup, along with these little complimentary soaps. I got two of them here, so no cost to me, so it didn't add to the cost of my Walmart price. Another one of my little cheats. I got this little comb at Walmart. It was the cheapest one I could find. It's just little, but it's Equate brand. It's a pocket comb. It seems pretty good quality. Yeah, that's a really good quality comb. So that was $1.24 at Walmart, which is more than I like to spend for a comb, but it was the most budget-friendly comb or brush that I could find. Here's a tennis ball. This was another little cheat. I I got these at Walmart, and I got them on clearance. Uh, I think I got a set of three. But even if I considered that 50 cents, that still, if I didn't consider tax, that would still, I'd still be under $20. So with tax, I spent... $19.88. And I don't want the comb to snag my washcloth, so I'm just going to put the washcloth and soap in here. Okay, so I got this little set of lacing cards. 
on clearance in Easter clearance and this was 50 cents there's a bunny and a carrot and it comes with the yarn and the lacing needle and it looks pretty simple this little boy might need a little bit of help maybe stringing the yarn through the lacing needle and the lacing needle is not sharp along the side I'm going to put his notebook and his coloring book. The notebook I picked out is the Purple Pen and Gear Composition Book with a real soft cover. And this was a dollar. So that's going to go along the side. And then the one dollar coloring books that they have at Walmart. But I chose Paw Patrol. Let's see here. Oh, this was a really good find in the clearance aisle. It's three pair of socks for one dollar. I thought there were only two, and when I got home and opened the package, I wanted to make sure they were a good size for a two to four year old. There were three, I was thrilled. It says they're school uniform approved, so I'm assuming they're pretty good quality. Lay them flat. I think I'll go ahead and put his stuffy in while I have room. This was a clearance stuffy, normally priced $2.97. And so I paid a dollar forty-eight or something like that. And I'll take this price sticker off, but leave the tag on. And I love this because I think I mean I think it's a bull, but it kind of reminds me of a buffalo too, or a bison, which I kind of love um, for this box. So it fits perfectly right in there. Of course, I have crayons. Now this is a good example of how. It's best if you pack more than one box. This is a good example of how you should stock up on this kind of thing during back to school sales because I paid almost a dollar for these crayons. 90, 96 cents for these crayons. Now during back to school sales, these crazy art ones are like 35 cents or Something like that, 45 cents maybe. They used to be 25 cents. But anyway, it was, the, it was the best deal I could find at Walmart yesterday. This was a pretty good deal. These equate to brushes. It came with two. And they have the suction cup on the bottom so that they can stand up on um, like a surface like this, which I think is kind of cool. And they look really cute. I didn't take them out of the packaging, but they look adorable. I've never purchased these before, but they're kid toothbrushes. It says ages three to six on there. So these were $1.53 for two, two toothbrushes. So I'm gonna include both of them. Here's the Sento's scented dough. There's four little packages, different colors of kid dough. So I got these in Easter clearance for 50 cents. I got these stickers. These are like cowboy stickers or Western stickers. There's over four feet of stickers in here. And I know the box is pink, but I opened it, took them out, and there's, you know, the stickers on here are good for boys. And these were in the clearance aisle. They were normally a dollar, and I paid 50 cents for them. And it's kind of cute. The box is cute, and it has a handle. <laughs> so I kind of love that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna find a place for this. Let's get nicely right there the tennis ball. I just wanted, I wanted to add something else to this box. I thought, you know, this is a great box, but he needs another toy. So, oh, here's the comb. I'll put the comb in. So did I forget anything that's essential? I, th I think, I think I did well. I think I did well for spending 20 bucks with just a couple of teeny tiny cheats. It helped to have the Easter clearance items and still create a, a a fun box for a boy two to four so the only thing that i need to do now is to add a note and photo and to maybe decorate the lid or um, since this was just a, a budget friendly bonus box that i decided to do as a challenge to myself i'll probably just adhere a uh, an image of something that I have in my stash and add the phrase Jesus loves you. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me today. I had fun showing you my 
budget friendly box that I put together with items that I purchased yesterday from Walmart staying under 20 bucks. Bye friends.